ever shopped online and right before checking out, you know, you're scrambling trying to find an online code or discount? We were just Guilty. talking about this on today's <laughs> show. Well, let's say you find the code and it just doesn't work. Well, for the most reliable ways to get those discounts without the disappointment is Houston Life reporter D. Brown. Please tell me you have a magic bullet to this because sometimes, you know, I've spent like half an hour maybe trying another code, trying another code. They still don't work. So no, what's the Well, trick? before we start, I just want you to do that little thing you just did. Okay, I just wanted her to do that again. It was so cute. No, I'm <laughs> I, I missed it. I'm scrambling for the code. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. oh good grief. No, um, yes, there is a method to it, and I have like a ton of tips. So, um, I know that we talked about on the show already, we talked about the children's clothing pieces. I just kind of wanted to touch back on that again. Yeah. How to save money when shopping for children. You want to take your time. You want to develop a plan. You want to check the inventory. So we talked about that in the Buy show. Buy bigger. Buy bigger, for sure. And also shopping out of season. And then, of course, we talked to Lonnie a couple of seconds ago when he talked about shopping online versus shopping in the store. He gave us some wonderful tips there as well. He saved 97 bucks for buying sneakers. But he says to plan, have patience, look for deals, and have fun. Well, this last well, he, saved, he saved 97 bucks on buying Nike sneakers. That's, I mean, I was thoroughly impressed with that. Uh, the tip on the previous screen at the bottom said, do inventory before yeah. you go shopping. And I think this is something, I'm guilty of this well, as well. I adult. do that anyway. I'll buy something that I already have two or three of. But you know, some people are comfortable with that. And I know for me, I'm kind of switching more to a minimalist lifestyle. And having multiples of different things is such a distraction for me when I'm going to get clothes ready for the morning, what, whether we're going to church or work or whatever. And I have to clear it out and I have to have what I need. So I do agree with that 100%. Although, what about if you find that pair of shoes that is just like the most comfor comfortable pair of shoes you've ever owned, would you buy a second pair? I would. Have? I would make an exception, but I would do a different style, maybe a different color. You know what I mean? Like if you find that perfect black pump, maybe get a different one in a nude color. D, you've got a bunch of tips for us. Tips yes. for us. Let's move through them, starting with tip one, Retail Me Not. Retail Me Not is a great website to go to get coupon codes. They're a very reliable source. Everything is there. So you can just go punch in the information that you're looking for and then wait for the results. Yeah, that's actually punch the first like, site oh, I always sure. use. Do you oh, punch yeah. in like the store yeah. or? Okay. Exactly. You search like Old Navy coupon at retailmenot.com. And as most of you guys, I'm pretty sure that you already know that when it, the results return, it'll let you know the success rate of the people that have tried to use it. So obviously if it's a 100% success rate, you're good to go. But if it's like 30, super sketchy. So, but again, it's a good place to go to just to put the information in and to find what you need in order to get that online discount code. Oh, cool. Now okay. your second tip is to sign up for a store's but are they going to email me every day? Okay, so here's the thing. This is the thing. That annoys me to the core. I yes. do like all of the emails. But the good thing about having a Google email account, they now will get, put different tabs on your email. So there's a special tab for your promotions. So all of your emails, it'll be in its own little inbox, and it'll be separate from your important stuff. Yep. So that's why I'm cool with that, because I have a Gmail account. But if you go to these websites, and that's the thing that I found, you guys. You know back in the day, maybe a few years ago, when online promo codes became really popular, you would find these random codes like ZX, why and you would get like 10% off. You rarely find that stuff anymore. I feel like retailers are starting to take control again of having that control over like the promo code. So what they do, they will give you 15% off, 10% off, 25%. It really depends if you sign up with your email. And even if you don't have Gmail, just use a separate fake email account that is for shopping <laughs> I feel only. like that becomes like a headache because oh, you have yes. too much Junk to mail. keep up with. Okay, so what about the coupons app? So the coupons app, I love that you can download it on your phone. You can download the coupons app. If you have a droid for all you iPhone haters out there, you can download the app. You can D-Brown, you have the droid. You can download the stores that you shop at the most. And guess what? They will send you different alerts. So if you shop at Macy's and Target, when they get different deals, they will give you an alert on your cell phone. And you can go grab that coupon. I use it all the time. You can scan it in store, and it is so easy to use. One of your tips is about honey, Googling and comparing, but also considering honey. What's that? I, okay, so I prefer Google and compare. So what I do if I'm shopping for, a pair of sneakers, right? I'll put in whatever type of shoe. Like, I love the Air Max 95. I've been keeping my eyes on that. I want another pair. I'll put that in Google, and then I'll go under the shopping tab, and it'll bring up all the different styles of shoes that I'm Wait, looking for. Wait, Google prices. has a shopping tab? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it used to yeah. be called Frugal. Now it's just oh. called Google Shopping. Yeah, it's shopping like they have images yeah. and all the other things. <laughs> you look at me like, girl, oh you don't God. know what the shopping That's, tab is? Have you That's ever used the money. internet, Jennifer? Oh my God. Apparently it not. Will, <laughs> but it's a great way to compare prices, and the good thing about it is that if they have deals on eBay and things like that, all that stuff comes up in the search and you can start comparing prices within your search there. Okay, Dee, we got to quickly fly through our, our next tips of log, add to cart, and leave. Oh my gosh. So we talked about that in the segment with Lonnie. And if you log in, sometimes if you're lucky, when they send you the reminder about what's in your cart, they'll include it. They will hook you with the code. Absolutely. What about asking customer support? Does that work? Uh, yeah, I am that girl. You know how they, 
<laughs> where you can message them, right? And they're like, we have a digital person here to talk to you or whatever. I will actually get on there and message them and say, hey, do you have a coupon code? Most of the time it doesn't work, but there have been a couple of times that it has worked. I and do I that even, in stores too. When I yeah. check out, I ask. And I'll call the 1-800 number too. And if you're a loyal customer, they do not mind giving you a code. At least giving you that, that 10% off. And then the last thing is, of course, Groupon always oh has gosh. great deals. Groupon always has great deals. Just to give you an example, you know how expensive Ray-Ban sunglasses are. I love the aviators. I was able to get a pair for 100 bucks. I even showed you that, remember? Yeah. So it's a great way to save money. You get coupon codes, but you can also get deals on designer stuff. All right, Dean. We got, a, we got a minute to go through, so we got to get through the coupon codes that you have for Houston Life viewers. So what I've put together for our wonderful Houston Life viewers are just tons of, of coupon codes that are active right now, and I put the expiration dates, the name of the vendor, oh, the coupon awesome. code that you need. So there's 25% off at Macy's, Macy's using code, code FRIEND. That's oh, yeah. easy. And even oh, at Barney's, easy. but you have to join the email list, obviously. And then we have one for Talbots, Golden Thread. I mean, there are plenty that are going to go up there. But again, if you 30 percent off at Talbots. Oh yeah, 30 percent off. You use Friends Thirty and it expires on May the seventh. And Golden Thread, uh, Jennifer yes, was here. Yeah, yep. yeah, exactly. And Claire even, Sonic, forty dollars off. Forty dollars off at Claire Sonic. Neiman Marcus, that's yep. a fancy one. Neiman Lord Marcus and Taylor, yep. Michaels, and Elaine Turner. Elaine I know Turner. we are moving through these so quickly, but we will post these. And on they'll our be website. on the website. Yeah, the segment will be on the website. So people, if you if you didn't get a chance to write down. The information. Keep I'm going to check out the shopping tab on we Google. We love you. So y'all can't give me a hard time We love you more when you save us money. Thanks so much. And guys, we're going to be.